Congratulations to myself! I believe I've hit a new low in my life. I've decided to take up a genre intended for only the most pea-brained of maroons and maybe three-year-old girls, all in the name of science. I've adopted a virtual kitten! Although seriously, look at this cover. You'd have to have the soul of a devil to reject such disgustingly adorable heathens. This, my friends, is Purr Pals. Carbuncle here is definitely a hell breather. He never gets off my back. As far as I'm aware, normal cats are supposed to sleep about, oh, 21 hours a day, scream in the middle of the night for three, and somehow manage to find time to shit in the plant and cough up some random hairballs. Carbuncle here never shuts the hell up about wanting love or devouring every piece of food in the house. I wish I could just backhand him into the fish tank. Purpals really needs an execution button. Too bad this isn't Maniac Mansion. I'd love to nuke his ass in the microwave. Really, this game is all about satisfying four different meters. You have to love your cat by petting it constantly. This involves wagging the Wii Remote over it while holding the A button. You also need to groom your cat. This involves wagging the Wii Remote over it and holding the B button. This gets old about midway through the first time you merely consider doing it. It is so dull. As I mentioned, you also have to feed the beast and then there's playing with it. This is usually done by hurling some sort of object in the room or waggling something stupid like a toy fishing pole. None of these are fun and you never get to just chill out with your cat and watch it do something cool like sleep on you. As pussies have needs, you'll be grinding away to satisfy them. They cost a whole lot of money, just like in real life. With cats, I mean. So the only way you'll be able to make that money here is by playing some of the most dull ass mini games around. Oh joy. The most ridiculous mini game is the music game. As an awkward DDR clone, it just needs to be seen, or at least heard. It renders me speechless. It's just so stupid. There's a few others like playing ping pong against your cat and a bizarre version of Simon Says, but just take my word for it. They aren't any better. It takes quite a while to make a decent amount of money, and by the time you're done, your retarded cat will once again be begging for something. Most likely a lot of things. I wish I could set Carbuncle onto a rocket and blast him off into the sun. He does nothing but shed all over the goddamn place and chew up my game controllers. Such a useless creature. Cats are so worthless. I had the option to show him off at the local cat show, but I decided against it. He can get a job and pay for his own worthless entry instead of mooching off me if he really wants to join. So to wrap this up, don't buy this game unless you're something like a five-year-old girl. Otherwise, you're either an older woman with the brain of a five-year-old girl or, well, a fruit. Also with the brain of a five-year-old girl. I give Purpals on the Nintendo Wii a 2 out of 10.